He says, I make dope videos. He actually is not lying. Yeah, he puts out some good shit. Damn. Okay, where's the 72,000, 72,000 percent monthly returns? This dude makes money. Like, he, he makes bank. Now, look at that thumbnail. I like how he has the goat in parentheses. Recently, I've been looking to find someone that can help me make a yeah, lot. Yeah, who else wants to make a lot of money, guys? Of money fast. Who wants I to make a lot, a lot of money? Of gurus, and I know in my heart that there has to be one out there for me. Yeah. As a big sports fan, I'd love to be able to watch sports and get rich at the same time. Okay, guys, I just left the casino, hammered today's card for $200,000. Guys, it's the biggest that I've ever gone. I'm the most confident that I've ever been. I think I found the guy for my get rich quick desires. Yep. I mean, he just made $200,000 and he's yelling at his phone in the parking lot of a casino. Guys, I think we found a winner. Looks good to me. Yelling at the camera, claiming multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in winnings, and he sounds like he's in the zone. This yeah. is just the type of sports gambling tout who checks he's all fired the boxes up. as someone who picks winners. I just did something that I've never done before. First guess is he picked consistent winners over a full season. I dropped two, count them, two massive whale plays today, one fat paying whale parlay. There's nothing that gets me grabbing for my wallet like when I hear a fat whale parlay. It took me a minute to- f I don't know, it feels like some kind of Lost Ark fucking bonus deal. It's like, a, you know, that's the, the big bonus. It's like you get a fat whale parlay and you spend, you know, $400 in the game and you get 200,000 gold. Figure out he wasn't talking about his Tinder threesome. It's never been done okay. before. And I'm hooking you guys up with my full card today for only $29. Guys, Damn. lock it in. We're going big. I'm feeling a clean sweep. What's nice about the $29 fee for the- So, so he basically invents his own sports betting uh cards and then he sells the cards to people bro this is like somebody who <laughs> it's like you buy pokemon packs and then you tell people like man every pokemon pack i open it's got a charizard do you want to buy one of my pokemon packs the package is you know you'll only be oh out twenty nine dollars on top of whatever you lose from the picks. With a lot of these gambling savants who pick eighty percent winners, gambling you're usually savants thousand dollars on top like of what that. their picks lose you. This IG story video explains that Cody is willing to offer refunds if his hundred dollar clients don't profit sixty thousand dollars or more on his NFL package. No questions asked. I, I hope that I wonder how many people guys, how many people do you think got their money back? Does anybody want to guess? One person probably got their money back and it was actually a friend of his and they planned on this to make it legit. That's what I would have done. I would have had at least like 10 people get them to sign NDAs, pay them a grand for it, and then have them say that, you know, you get the money and then you refund them, uh, add into the authenticity of it, be like, oh man, he didn't make money. It is what it is, right? Yeah, use them as example. Exactly, right? Get them signed NDA so they can't talk about it. That's a smart thing to do. How's this legal? I mean, listen, bro. Like, I wonder if the no questions asked zero? is why he oh, doesn't allow true. comments on his Instagram post. I wanted to ask him what- Bro, you know why he doesn't want to allow comments? It's simple, man. It's because all of those haters out there just want to spread their negativity and bring him down. Like, he's up there winning millions of dollars, making thousands of dollars. What are they doing with their life? commenting on his instagram that is just straight up loser behavior everybody knows it his all-time winning percentage was and how he calculates his ev but wasn't able to this is another yeah, sports they're just, better they're, than they're drives haters, a lamborghini man. and likes purses i think i'm sold let's go baby i'm fired up as you guys can see we're coming off another massive night again last I night i can't believe over it two hundred sixty-five thousand dollars Another wow. $265,000 in winnings. How can I not sign up? I yeah. think I found the first get rich quick scheme that seems legit. And $100 betters are now up $25,000. I mean, listen, if I'm looking for advice on something, I'm going to look for a guy with his hat on backwards yelling at me in his house. That's where I'm going for, man. That looks great. Dollars in the past 30 days alone. Yeah. I'm down to my last $100, so this seems like the perfect investment to make. What should I buy with the $25,000 once I win? I'm thinking a Pulp Fiction movie poster, a steak dinner at the win, and a couple new books on smart investing strategies. Okay, Guys, I like that. This is what's frustrating for me. 
You know, people complain about how they don't have money, can't make money, they don't know what to do to make money. Yeah. But then they blow their money on stupid stuff. The days of people spending money on stupid stuff are coming to an end because That's right. Cody is giving us all an opportunity. It's not any more stupid stuff anymore. We're only going to be betting on sports teams from now on. No more stupid bets, guys. No more dumb bets. To invest We're past that. Wisely. It's well known that gambling is risky, but not when you mm -hmm. have a fraternity brother selling his picks. True. Guys, if you would have invested your last stimulus check into one of my packages, you have $40,000 right now. Guys that, the shamelessness of that. The shamelessness. Oh my God. Wow. That's amazing. He don't care. Like, that's a... Bro, he's actually trying to get you to give him his stimulus. That's fucking evil, man. Like, I know. This is amazing. Guys, that's higher returns than GameStop stock. That's higher returns than Bitcoin. That's I knew higher it. returns than Dogecoin. Guys, there's nobody in the world. I like how he had two of them that were, like, legitimate. And he's like, well, I need a third one, you know, to, like, round it off. So I might as well, you know, just put in Dogecoin as well. That is putting up these kind of numbers, except myself. Yeah. AMC, Dogecoin, and Bitcoin aren't nearly as memeable as Cody. He That's allegedly right. makes his clients 4,000% return on their investment Average. in a matter of weeks. So we need to put his picks to the test. Yeah. Because if there's one thing I believe in life, it's that people yelling at me to buy their gambling picks are doing it because they have the secrets no one else knows about. Yeah, you that's... guys are about to get your next stimulus check. Do not screw... Hashtag big wins only. Hashtag big wins only. This guy only gets big wins. Okay, guys? Listen, it's 4,000%. Winners win. Yeah, winners win. And are you a loser? You know what losers do? They lose. Big wins only. There it is. Screw it up this time. Invest that money into something that is going to make you money. Yeah. A lot of people receive stimulus checks to pay rent or cover their living expenses while they were laid off. I think what they should have done is gambled on sports with Cody's picks and then use the winnings to pay rent. Foolproof strategy. I actually track Cody's... I told the story on my alt stream yesterday. I'll tell it again. So, um, one time in 11th grade, we had a, a, a project. It was a two-week project, and we had to learn how to budget $50 for uh, two weeks. And me and my friend Ian, um, he was the one that drew the dragon masturbating on the, on the chalkboard. Um, he and I went up there after two weeks to present our project. I said $50, or I think he said $50, and then I said 50 lottery tickets. You don't need to budget when you're fucking rich. And that's all we did. That's That was our whole project. So this guy, like, we had this shit figured out in 2005, 2006, man. Like, that's it. People waiting for Johnny hearing this? Yeah, that's what it is. Waiting for Well, it's a minute and a half. It's probably not going to be anything. I'll go back to it in a minute, okay? That's what it was. Yeah, easy A+. plus. Well, she thought it was funny. The teacher thought it was funny. She said, all right, very funny. Now, what's the real project? And we're like, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? No, this is all we did for two weeks. Yeah. We, we about to be rich. Yeah, we're we going to be rich. So, like, what's the... What do you mean? That's the whole thing. Like, yeah, we done, man. And uh, where I send my money? That's a good question, ain't it? All right, let's see real quick. I'll pull up the trial. We're going to watch this just for a second, and then we'll go back to the video, okay, guys? I know that a lot of people have wanted to see this. I've been going back and forth. Did you tell her big wins only? Well, I didn't tell her big wins only. Because, like, you can't tell... This is the thing with Cody here. Cody's fucking around. You don't tell people that you're going to get big wins. You show them that you're going to get big wins by showing your balance sheet and then editing your balance sheet to show a, law, a win instead of a loss. He picks the past nine days yeah. to see what kind of gold he's delivering to his clients. What you're about to find out will not shock you. We began our gambling journey together on August 8th. His whale Wait, oh, so this guy actually gave him the fucking money? Oh my god. Bro, we love, we love journalism. This is amazing. I love to see it.
play was for 300 units, taking uh -huh. the under on the Chicago inner city battle between the Cubs and White Sox, yeah. followed by another over under and then three money line plays. He likes to tout that he hits parlay after parlay. So glad to see a few parlays on this day's card. I have noticed that Cody likes to put every bet for the day into mm -hmm. one parlay. Yeah. My guess is so the one day he hits, he promotes it as if he knows how to constantly hit 500 to one parlay cards. No, that's the same thing I do with my mount runs is I tell people, I'm like, listen, guys, I win. I, I The mount's going to drop here, 100%. Mount's going to drop here. I know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. I just got a text from Ian. He said it's going to drop. And I will say that like 150 times. And eventually it happens. And I'm like, damn, Ian just texted me the mount's going to drop. And then the mount actually drops. And I have people in the comments on YouTube, bruh, does anybody else think it's fucked up that the devs are just giving him mounts? Like, is, like, doesn't anybody see this shit? Like, what the fuck? Like, this is it's, this is fucked up. They, they're literally changing his rates and telling him this, man. They're like, man, like, thank God Cody doesn't do that. Uh, I just bought his sports betting program. I'm about to be a millionaire. It doesn't matter. This mount shit doesn't matter to me. Are you ready for day one's results? For his money line plays, okay, he let's went see one it. and four, resulting in a loss of 720 units. Uh -huh. For his bread and butter parlay plays, he went 0 and three, resulting in a loss of 150 units. Oh. The day's total was down 870 units. Oh. Before we go further, Cody so he lost you $870. Okay, okay. Well, tomorrow it's he's gonna win 870,000 does have plenty of good days as well no problem. the first day was an outlier based on everything i've seen but this is also the point with flashy sports touts if you catch them on the wrong day and don't understand money management then you're going to be screwed and potentially out all of your money yeah let's go baby let's <laughs> go baby i feel invincible the touts like baby let's screwed and potentially out all of your money i love it oh my god look at it and they're Benjamins too. That's big fucking money. Oh my god, he just wanted to. I this guy is just what, cocaine. No, he's not doing coke, bro. Like this is like a seven second video. Like he's just recording a video. He's like, all right, bro, you ready to go? And he's like, oh, let's go, let's go. I'm making all this fucking money. Oh my god, we're gonna make all this fucking money. And he's like, all right, is it cut? Okay, good. All right, yeah. Uh, so do you want to go to like Taco Bell? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let, let's go, bro. I'm I'm tired. Like I, I'm gonna probably take a nap when we get home. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. The moment that camera's off, like that's how I am, right? Like I I, I relax a whole lot whenever a camera's not on. Like exactly. Uh, that's what it does. Go, baby. Yeah. It's like I Zach Rar. The touts like Cody use every He's invincible. He can't lose because money their anymore. Picks alone aren't a good enough selling point. Yeah. If he could make clients turn one hundred dollars into thirty thousand dollars in a month, he'd have more guys in his DMs than a beautiful model giving away free nudes. We have profited money in twenty five of the past twenty six weekends. Another strategy guys like Cody use is to just downright lie about their numbers, since there's no one. I like how he says that. Another strategy that they use is lying. Yeah. So. Another strategy is, you know, basically they say they were making money and they're not. Yeah. <laughs> we profited money in Here we go. Watch. One more again. Weekends. One more Another again. strategy guys like Cody use is to just downright lie about their numbers. That's a, hey, that is a strategy, isn't it? That's a good strategy, right? Yeah. Since there's no one actually verifying his claims or punishing him for deceptive advertising, yeah. you can say he's won 25 of the past 26 weekends without proof. Since I criticize, I also <laughs> do need to point out that he does have days where he wins. August 9th was much better as he won four out of his five straight plays All and right. one out of three of his parlays. The total for the day was a positive 58 units. If <laughs> so he lost, wait, 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 but I thought he lost 870, but this one he won 58? Guys, I'm not a math magician, but... I feel like we still might be a little bit behind.
If you want to know why a lot of sports betting gurus like Cody claim such high winning percentages, they hand select where they win a lot and show proof that they can pick 80% winners. Uh -huh. His four money line plays were all heavy favorites and he lost his whale play. Sure, he won 80% of the day, four out of five, but he barely came out ahead. And if right. he were to lose his next bet, he'd be in the negative, even with a 67% winning percentage. On August 10th, he was up 142 units. On days like this, you'll generally see this kind of post next. Let's go, baby. Just he just won all that money. That's right. He just won all that money right there. He just got back. Listen, he just got back from the bank because they had to give him this much money. He can't even fit it. Like, there's another whole stack right behind him. You can't even see that. In the casino, another yep. massive cash out on my whale play again last night. Guys, I'm 19 and 2. 19 and 2. Am I past 21 whale plays? Oh my god. Like the other guys yelling at you to bet on sports. Nine more. Thanks for 20 subs. Instantiated. In the nine days I tracked Cody's picks, he was four and four on his whale plays and yeah. 0 for one on his lock of the year pick. What a so surprise. Essentially four and five altogether. He picks strong favorites and probably over the long haul averages out mm -hmm. to about 50% on his picks. People actually fell for this? Yeah, because you have. The thing is, like, remember what I was saying earlier about how the Diablo Immortal, they're not planning on getting you or me addicted to the game and spending money. They're planning on getting Ted, the, uh, you know, accountant addicted to the game, and Ted, who never watches YouTube videos, who's like, yeah, bro, so, like, I watched this guy Cody, man, and he just makes so much fucking money, dude. Like, I, like how does he get... If it's fake money, then how does he get the money in front of him? He's obviously real. This guy's legit. This guy's legit. He's literally got the stack of cash right there. So I'm going I'm to just give it. Listen, man. I'm going to just see what happens. I'm going to give him $300. And we gonna see what happens. That's the what it was. The problem is that fifty percent is a yeah. big time loser over time because of the yeah. juice. This is the actual danger of betting with Cody. He gave his lock of the year on August 11th. Surprisingly and uncommon for Cody, he picked an underdog and bet money line, but he recommended 500 units. Uh -huh. This is completely reckless gambling for anyone looking to get. Wait, did he lose? Man, that looks like a damn. Damn, man, this shit's rigged. Damn, bruh. Damn. <laughs> but he recommended 500 units. This is completely reckless gambling for anyone looking to get involved because when the common better sees lock of the year, they mm -hmm. will typically gamble more than they should. Of Let course. me give you a reminder on how math works. If your first bet with someone like Cody is a lock of the year that loses and you bet 50% of your uh -huh. bankroll on that play, then you'll need to be in the positive 100% in the future just to get back to break even. Yeah. And that's not including the price of the packages. August 12th saw Cody hit his whale of play, course. but the Eagles lost, which cost him a straight play and the parlay. Up 22 units on the day. August 13th was his monster day as he went wow. up 781 units on the day. In just a second, I'll show you the totals for the nine days, but for this single day, he could tout that he was a massive winner. What's going on, guys? Wow, I would have never, like, the thing is in my mind, I was thinking about like, what's the transition to the Instagram video gonna be this time? And there it is, he's got 26, 26 million dollars, obviously, right? $100 plays $72,000. Today's my birthday, so you guys know we got good juju. We're coming off a massive night again last night, and I just dropped today's card. Guys, a how, how does it make you guys feel that this guy's 26 years old, 25, 26 years old, and he's probably making more money than a lot of people are in their job that they spent four years in college for? Like, there's people right now slaving away at their fucking menial desk job while Cody is out there living life to the absolute fullest. Like, just thinking that? Yeah, this guy is making big money. Like, you're trying to pay back his your student loans? This guy never took any student loans because he didn't get accepted to college. He wanted to go for statistics. $100 bet is paying it. $72,000 on today's card. We have 10 massive straight bets spread across NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, mm -hmm. and MLB. We also have one massive whale play, yeah. five yeah. fat paying parlays, and guys, 
Guys. I am feeling a massive clean sweep. Oh. Get locked in and let's run it up, baby. Let's make some money. Turn down a card that will turn $100. Let's run up that fucking debt. He didn't say what you're running up, right? I mean, like, that's just, he leaves that part to you. What are you running up? Oh, you're running up your debt. Obviously. I mean, you know, people got to know that. They got to know that going into it into $72,000. What guys like Cody do is they'll filter comments to only allow their hype men to post so you won't see comments from the people who lost their shirt and he'll make insane claims about turning $100 yeah. into $72,000, which if anyone in a regulated industry did that, they would be fired on the spot. If at this Well, that's why he's not doing it in a regulated industry. See, that's why there are regulations. Is that because do you think that, oh, wow, Cody was the first guy to do this? There were guys doing this with a uh, trial. Let me just double check. Is it the trial coming up again? Let me see. Uh, it doesn't look like it is at all to me. It looks like it's a guy. And uh, Buff Engineer with the five <laughs> subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. There were guys doing this with, with, uh, with fucking stocks back in the day. There were guys doing this with like all kinds of like uh, making fake money. You know, the reason why you got notches on the uh, on the sides of your coins is because people used to fucking <laughs> shave the little bits off the coin and then melt all the little bits collectively down into making new coins. That's what it was. That's what people used to always fucking do. Yeah, the coin shavers. That's that's why you got the notches on them, man. And uh, this is like, the thing is, Cody's just the next evolution of this, right? And then once they put Cody in jail, if that ever happens, there'll just be another one after that. At this point, you haven't figured out that someone promoting the idea that they can turn $100 into $72,000 in a single day uh -huh. is a fake guru, then you're the perfect customer for Cody. Yeah. Cody continued his hot streak on August 14th, yeah. losing a combined 58 units. I have to give him credit. As long as you don't blow your entire load on his lock of the year mm -hmm. and go bankrupt, your losses will be slow. Like a newspaper refusing to go online, Cody's yeah. client's final days are coming near. The reason why gambling is so addictive is because of the swings felt by clients. I can't can't imagine there being any better rush than being up 781 units on August 13th and thinking you found the magic sports betting expert. Uh -huh. Even though the clients may be down overall, they will always feel like that $100 into $72,000 day is just around the corner. August of 15th course, right? Because it's just, it's going to be the next one, 100%, guys. Like the next one is going to happen. That's what's going to be it. Do, uh, what's this here? <laughs> Gambling Twitter, and there's thousands of kids trying to sell picks that are all losers. <laughs> was a good bounce back day where his picks came in at a positive 370 units just enough of a morphine hit to his clients so that they think he's a winning gambler long term the yeah. emotional swings are what i just don't understand like it's like if you see the guy that's acting like cody does like uh, uh, like he's acting like remember when i talked about crack monkey my warlock that's cody Cody is acting like crack monkey. That's straight up what it is. It's like you got somebody acting like a fucking crackhead in their kitchen throwing dollars around. And you say, you know what? That's where I want to put my money. You know what? I don't feel, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel bad for you if you lose your fucking ass on that. I don't even for a second. Why are you giving that dude your fucking money? What are you doing? Like, are you stupid? Like, yo, what? Buy land. Don't gamble. Uh huh. Don't play video games. Buy land. On the Trust moon? me. Trust No, no, no. Trust buy, me. On buy the moon. Land. No, not on the moon. On <laughs> Earth. Buy land on Earth. Trust me. Oh, trust me. Trust what? me. Invest. Invest. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's, let's take that seriously. Okay get people addicted to sports gambling you can't yeah. feel those swings anywhere other than a relationship with a partner with multiple personalities of for course. the final day of this experiment cody's picks netted a loss of 119 units he was mm -hmm. saved by a clutch rockies walk-off home run had the padres won he would have been down an additional 250 units for the nine days i covered his picks cody had five positive days leading to a gain of 1374 yeah. units but it's the four losing days that sets you back a total of 173 units net altogether. oh wait a minute Keep wait whoa 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 well, wait a minute. Cody won five times and he lost four times. So he has a positive win rate. I really think baseball is his best game. Yeah. 
See, it's just it's 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 how you sell the information, right? Find a sign. Don't look at that. It's overall he won more than he lost losing days that sets you back a total of 173 units net altogether. Keep yep. in mind that this doesn't include the fee for the package. What I really enjoy doing though is catching people in downright lies, especially if their lies are to get you to buy something. Look guys, I'm not even yep. going to talk about how much money we're up because you guys already know how much money we're up. He's down. That's right. Down over the last nine days. Does he so yeah, exactly. I'm not going to talk about how much money we're up because you guys know how much money we're up. And then the cut he's been down for nine days that's the way it goes yeah he's not gonna tell you about that man you don't need to know about that part he acknowledged that he's not there yeah he's been a winner what do you think we've hit 38 parlays in the past 31 days that's a lot that's very false we profited big money in 24 of the past 25 days that's a lot it's verifiably false and guys we're on a but how are people gonna the thing is like how are people gonna know what he's doing is fake because what he does is he just fucking shuts down his Instagram. And so you'd have to go on another website and talk about him on like this other website. And like, you know, there's not a lot of people that are going to do that. So they're just going to see that at the beginning. And then that's all it's going to be, man. That's not the trial guys. That's a rerun. Like I understand, like take a look, like that's, that's a rerun. Yeah. That's what it does. He's technically not lying. It's just as Cody's making seventy-two thousand off your hundred-dollar bet since you have to buy his package. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. Record-breaking run, absolutely smashing the sports books. The only money he makes from the sports books is their commission checks for sending all of his clients to them. I honestly think the easiest yeah. way to make money in 2021 is to become a bookie for the clients of social media touts like Cody. There Here's you go. the facade guys like Cody are able to put up. He shows this ticket of a parlay winner from the night 20, before. 20,000. We know that he was actually But I love how like not only, see, you, you not only do you have the $20,000 ticket, but you've got the Lamborghini in the background. So it's like, this is a winner's mindset. This guy's got a fucking Lambo. You think about this again. Now, obviously, the Lambo is probably owned by the booking company, and they just let him sit in the Lambo uh, in front of the building while he's being watched by two security guards and record the video. But the viewers don't know that. They think it's his Lamborghini. It's one of five. And so, uh, yeah, that's obviously what it is. But, like, imagine how much money this dude is making. He's making so much fucking, he's probably, I probably bet Cody's making over a hundred. He's probably clearing six figures doing this. Imagine that. 119 units from the day before. He's bragging about winning tickets, but he was a loser overall. Here's another two yeah, tickets but you don't that he won. When you bet five to seven tickets a day, you're likely going to hit two to three. Yeah. Because those tickets will look good with $50,000 of winnings, right. Cody can show how much money he's making. But yeah. the manager at the casino is receiving yearly bonuses from taking Cody's bets. There Look, it if is. you guys are still on the sidelines, it is not too late to get locked in. That's <laughs> right, guys. We're going to have another stimulus check coming in pretty soon. Bye. Biden, who else is riding with Biden? Well, why don't you ride this ship all the way to the bottom of the ocean with me? Here you go. Give me all your fucking stimulus money. I'll show you what to do. Today, I'm doing something big for you guys that I've never done before. Oh my God. Today, I have a massive lock of the year which is the biggest bet that I ever did. He's never done a lock of the year before, even though he gave out one on August 11th, not even a week prior, in which he lost a 500 unit bet. Over the nine days I tracked, Cody won eight parlays and lost 15 <gasps> while- I've never done it before. Well, last week, but I mean like, I mean, but, but like this week, I've never, I've, I've never done it before this week. I haven't done it at all today. Also losing his lock of the year. So oh how excited God. are you in buying these picks? Guys, everybody's asking me to drop my lifetime all access special. Uh -huh. I'm feeling generous, coming off another massive win tonight. So guys, I just did it, but I'm making it super exclusive. Five spots only. I repeat, five spots only. There's a the, the funny thing is girls do this same fucking strategy to sell OnlyFans. Yeah, guys, there's only five spots. See, like, what you do is you want to create, like, exclusivity, right? You want people to think that, like, oh, man, like, this is going to happen. You're going to make a bunch of money off of this. It's going to be a big fucking deal. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 yeah, you create scarcity. You create FOMO. You're like, guys, listen, if you want to make big money, 
There's five spots right now. And if you don't claim it, somebody else is going to make $72,000. Somebody else is going to be a fucking millionaire. And that's it. There's actually, and then you update later on and say there's four spots left and three spots left, right? And then that way you, you build up that scarcity. And then you sell realistically like 25 of them. A lifetime all access special. It's gonna get you yeah. access. Public figure self made. Every bet that I drop. He was so For the rest of my life, I repeat, access to every bet that I drop for the rest of my life. All my whale plays, all my fat paint parlays, all my locks of the year, and my. <gasps> Bro, I bet that probably doesn't even last for the whole. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. The thing is, like, if you. If you're this far into the Instagram story and this sells you Listen, man. You're going to do what you're going to do. Proven profitable bankroll system. Yeah. Get locked in. Looking forward to having you on the Get team. twisted. Get locked in. Up, there baby. it is. This Instagram story was after his big day on August 13th. Mm -hmm. These guys are all savvy internet marketers. Of they course. know they can lie, use hype, and claims of a bunch of money to get suckers Absolutely. to buy in. Absolutely. He's going to have winning days, but there's a reason why he doesn't show any past performance on of his course not. Since some of my more popular videos are on Instagram and showing you why what you see is typically a facade, I found this, this is like, it's almost like if I recorded videos of myself farming mounts. Like, I remember this happened one time. This is like back in like Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King, it might've been Cataclysm. There's this one guy who backpedaled all the way through Strathlome and he finally got to the last boss, Baron Rivendare. He killed Baron Rivendare, backpedaling the entire way through the fucking dungeon. He kills the boss and the mount drops. And he puts out a video and he says, you have to go and go all the way through here backpedaling and you're going to get them out for sure. And, and people fucking were doing it. People were messaging me about this. Like, bro, did you do it yet? Did you get your mount? It's real. It's legit. Yeah. And like, they didn't know what to do. He's not wrong. No. Really interesting. I can't remember why these two accounts caught my eye, but for some reason I clicked on uh -huh. them. They both showed up in Cody's following list. If these are the friends you make when you yell at the camera to buy sports picks, then you may see a change in my content soon. I noticed that these two accounts <laughs> have a lot say. of followers for only a couple of posts, but it's their bio that stands out. Uh -huh. It looks eerily similar to the loop giveaway scheme that I've talked about before. Yep. Follow everyone I follow, DM me a simp emoji, and wait patiently. I bet you wouldn't be surprised to see Mr. Cody covers on the following list. Yeah. This appears to be another scheme to gain Instagram followers. What's also funny is Cody doesn't- Oh, of course it is, right? Yeah, the girls do shit like that all the time allow anyone to comment on his IG post that discusses gambling, but he does allow uh -huh. Luke Lentz, who manages the high-key clout loop giveaways. Cody is very much a participant in the IG growth hacking scene, as I know I've seen his name in previous giveaways. I say all this to remind- This, uh, you gotta understand, is it like if somebody is scamming and doing it with one thing, why would they not just do it with everything else? It isn't full ass TOS, bro. You think that I'm gonna get in trouble for a fucking? Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble for an Instagram post, man. You should have seen what Amber Hat was wearing the other day. I'm not gonna get in trouble for that shit. If I do, it is what it is. Mind you, that his 569,000 followers on IG aren't indicative of his sports betting prowess, but more yeah. of a display of him willing to spend money to grow that number. That's Just a lot to give of you money. an idea of why engagement matters most, this post, which should be a pretty highly liked picture, yeah. only received 741 likes in five days. That's like someone with a thousand followers only receiving 1.3 likes for a picture. Yep. If you're ever wanting to know if an IG influencer paid for their following, engagement is always the quickest way to tell. This exactly. image shows a $45,000 ticket win, which should elicit a lot of likes, yeah. you know, for a guy selling his picks. 139 likes indicates he probably only has a few thousand that actually follow him. The so like, it, you know how I said about how in Burning Crusade, the way that you would play the game is all you do is you just sit there and trial, trial. All right, all right, all right, I got it. All right, let's get back to this. Surprisingly on this post, he allows a comment. 
only 242 likes. Uh -huh. Even though Cody loses thousands of dollars for his clients, liking mm -hmm. a post is still free, so not sure why the numbers are so low. Just to show you how low these guys will go to True. sell the dream, he had a post on March 12th telling you that if you had have invested your stimulus in his packages, you would have turned the stimulus check into $38,000. Really ask yourself. If I, I think that's my favorite part. That is like 100% my favorite part. The fact that he is so shameless that he is willing to go for your stimulus check. It's not enough. It's not enough for this to happen. Like he's got to go for your stimulus check too. That's sleazy. Yeah, it's like Biden gave you the money. Uh-uh, Biden gave me the money. That's what it is. Leave that stimulus check alone. I remember, bro, do you remember back whenever COVID was big and like the stimulus checks were coming out? And then like, I didn't, I go on stream and say the donate your stimulus check to me after LSF got mad about it. And I was like, yeah, people should give me their stimulus checks or something like that. And like, there's so many people got fucking mad, dude. Yeah, I did that. I forgot. I was, I was like two years ago. Like, I can't forget every, every dumb thing I do, but there it is. Yeah. Give me that stimmy. Yeah. <laughs> And I remember, like, that was the same time around whenever I think Ludwig did the subathon. And, like, people are trying to turn it around into, like, oh, well, Ludwig doing the subathon, that's kind of like, you know, him doing it while people are getting stimulus checks. Man, he's basically stealing people's stimulus checks. I wonder if they ever heard about Cody. Yeah, I wonder if they ever, like, they ever listen to Cody. Like, they, they don't know what scamming is like, man. They don't know what it is. This dude made millions gambling on sports. Would he really use these mm -hmm. tactics to sell you on a thousand dollar package? That's normally sixty thousand dollars. As today's message is about hard work and how you are going to find your success in this life. Yep. You know, I get asked all the time, so smart. Cody, what is the single most uh, <laughs> thing that has led to your success? What most people don't know. You know what really is uh, super. Uh, you know. What is that? Well, let's hear it again. All the time, Cody, what is the single most uh, thing <laughs> that has led to your success? What most? What is the single most? <laughs> he says this shit <gasps> while he's drive it i don't know if he's actually driving it seems like it doesn't seem like his foot's on the gas maybe it is but like he's driving he's got no hands on the wheel he's looking at the camera the car's clearly on what is the single most thing that causes me to success no i get asked all the time one more cody what is the single most uh thing that has led to your yeah. success. What most people don't know is this is the motivational speech that Cody gave every single game to the 2008 Detroit Lions, uh -huh. who went winless. He also well, doesn't okay. mention that his success comes from manipulative and deceitful sales practices, as shown to you earlier in this video. I love how my favorite videos of exposing people are just a video that's a compilation of them talking. You know what I mean? It's like taking somebody's hand and then hitting them with their own hand and being like, wow, you're beating yourself up. You know, it's the same thing they did with Amber whenever they uh, they had all that evidence and shit. Oh, my God. Nothing was moving. Oh, oh, OK. So he was just he just had the radio on. That makes sense. OK, so he wasn't dry, driving. That's good. At least he's worse than scalpers. Well, of course he is. Of course. I was struggling. Hardly yeah. Paying my bills much less affording to pay my own way through college. I was working at Wendy's, picking up shifts, working 60 hours a week, literally. So this guy worked at Wendy's. This dude, like, he he says, uh, basically, like, you know, let me see like, where to say it. Like, he, he went through the struggle. He went through the grind. He worked at Wendy's for a week. Which is longer than I worked at Sam's Club because fuck working in food, and I I can I can respect yeah he worked at Wendy's and then he uh, he quit I think that's what makes sense yeah he got two hours a week no he worked sixty hours a week sixty hours is a lot to work I'm gonna be honest that's a lot to work it's from Wendy's to Stimmies there it is yeah started from the bottom now we here and you see like he's obviously got on like a Beverly Hills hat right and like a lot of the people that buy into this stuff are the people that like they want to be rich and successful 
They don't want to create anything. They don't have like any real dreams or ideas. Like their goal is to have a lot of money. Well, what do you want? Oh, I want a lot of money. I want to have like a lot of money and that way I've got a bunch of money. That's it. That's where they're at. Yeah. That's all there is to it, man. It's that simple. Thank you. Get rich quick. Trial again? No, it ain't no trial. That's who the hell is this? Let, let's see. That's not the trial. Like, listen, we're going to go to the trial if we're going to go. That's sad. But the thing is, like, Cody is simply a product of their environment. If you, if Cody stopped making content tomorrow, it wouldn't matter because Trevor's going to pick up where Cody left off. What do you think that, oh, man, like, he's not going to, like, no, it doesn't matter. Because there's always going to be a new one of these. Yeah, there's always going to be, he's got 20,000 views. That's a surprise, yeah. Five years ago. It should be no surprise that he worked at Wendy's since he's the dollar menu version of Vegas Dave. After working at that Wendy's, oh, no. I got a job at a steakhouse when I was 18. Yeah. And, you know, whatever it was, whether mm -hmm. I thought that anybody was watching me or not, yeah. I always put in the work while I was at that steakhouse. The only thing as rare as the steaks he served to customers are his whale plays hitting on consecutive days. Unfortunately, oh. I think I'll need to keep searching for the guru that will actually deliver 72,000% returns in a month. Damn. Up, but his picks fell a little flat. That is too his bad. his tactics of always lying about his success turned me off quicker than a woman with an 80s adult actor mustache. Thanks for watching. Now, three years later, I've been in Vegas for three years, and guys, I've turned $5,000 yeah. into over $15 million. $15 million, boys. Fifteen. He turned $15,000 into $15 million. Isn't that crazy that you could make that much money? Like, I didn't even know that. Like, it's it's so easy to just do that. All you have to do is give Cody all your money, and then you're going to be fine. Let me link this video real quick. We got something else I want to look at here, too, while we're waiting on the trial, see what's going to happen. I'm going to link this shit real quick. 72, listen, guys, get it twisted, boys. 72,000% monthly returns with Cody, man. Yeah, look at that. Rental tag on it. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, man. Like, it's all about people that want to live the lifestyle of that kind of person, man. And it's just, as I said, I mean, people that do this shit, if you watch that guy and you think to yourself, that's where I'm going to put my money. That's what I want to do. Yep. All right. Let's get, where do I sign up? Where do I put in my credit card? What, how can I how can I give this man my money? I want to give this man my money so fast. I got to get this. Let me get my money to him as soon as I can. Like, if you do that, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel bad for you because you are fucking stupid. You a dumb motherfucker. You're going to do that. That's the way it goes. You deserved. Yeah, that's a stupid tax. And the dumber you are, the more you pay.